This is the story about Nikola Tesla. Tesla, in many people's view, was the father of the 20th century in many ways, 20, 21st century. His main claim to fame, or his, his main, uh, the main points that make him a very worthy individual was he used electricity to enhance the inventions of the Industrial Revolution. He discovered that electricity could be utilised to quadruple the value of this machinery that hitherto had been horse or, or manpower driven. So this was a, a complete revelation. And he was Serbian. He emigrated to America in the 1880s and with all these wonderful inventions. And were it not for him, uh, Edison, all these people w wouldn't, would never have achieved fame. They, he's, most of his copy, most of his inventions were adopted by Westinghouse or who else was there? There was Marconi had one of his. Even Alexander Graham Bell used one of Tesla's inventions making claim themselves. And, but that was the dog-eat-dog -dog world of uh, late 19th century American capitalism, where, which was a free-for-all, really. And uh, he was a sensitive little creative man from Serbia who, was, who died, unfortunately, after creating hydroelectrical power. He created a, a water-driven generator on the Niagara Falls. Uh, he was the first person to do it and prove that it's possible to generate electricity through power. Uh, and he also realised that the domestic advantages of it. And so he went to, um, he started to use his ideas with all these bigger companies like Westinghouse and people like that who were on the peripheries of those, of that industry. They'd invented power stations to create electricity, but they couldn't get the electricity to flow far enough to be able to credit anybody virtually outside the immediate vicinity of the generator until Tesla invented copper wire conductivity. And he was the one that sold that idea to Edison, I think it was, who patented the idea, ripped his patent off blatantly, patented the idea, made a fortune. And then Tesla came up with this other brilliant idea, um, which was his downfall, really, which was infrared technology, essentially transmitting electricity through the airwaves, um, which is what we use now. And that is, we call it uh, Wi-Fi or whatever. It's the transmission of electricity, not just through radio waves, but you put more substance to the radio wave and turns it into electricity. And he created this idea where electricity would be virtually free to all and available in the air just for anybody to use. And it's still possible to do that. Well, we can see technology moving in that direction. But this is the late 1800s that this man came up with this idea. And his inventions were quashed mainly because they'd spent huge amounts of money putting copper wire to everybody. And then suddenly the same inventor of copper wire comes up and says, we don't need any of that technology anymore. We can create all this electricity. And what's more, it'll be virtually free to the user. And that, of course, wasn't allowed to prosper. So his patents were sat on. He was demonized. He was called all the names under the sun. And he died in poverty in, a, in one room in New York. He was poverty stricken. And they were all making fortunes. But he had a visionary uh, thoughts about everything that, you know, the, the internet he predicted. He predicted Wi-Fi, uh, air transmitted electricity. All the stuff that we take for granted now was around in the 1890s because of his inventions. But they were quashed for 100 years because people were making serious amounts of money out of his first invention. So yet another example of um, the way corporate America uh, manipulates its markets and controls its markets, whether it's hemp or electricity. You can see how it works. And it's a good story. It makes a very interesting way of explaining how 19th century American commerce worked. Very interesting idea. Anyway, that's a program about Nikola Tesla. So 
any contributions for that one would be gratefully received.